How's it going guys? Me, David here for another shave. Today is going to be the start of a whole new, I don't know if y'all want to call it a series, because I don't know if I'm going to name it a series, but uh, today I'm going to be using the Above the Tie H2. Now this is supposed to be the more aggressive uh, version of the Above the Tie razors. This is the H2. There's a big ba blade, gla blade gap. Totally uh Tripping on my words there. I already have it loaded with a Persona Lab Blue, which of course have been my favorite blades as of forever. Those Persona Reds are really making a move though, man. I really like those Persona Reds. But yeah, so this is the open comb version of the Above the Tie Razor. I also was sent the R-Plate, which is the standard safety bar razor. Thank you, Alvin Burgess, for sending this to me. I really do appreciate you. Today, to start off this little series, I'm actually going to do another little experiment I have uh, everybody knows how fantastic it feels to use Mitchell's Wolf app. you know the post shave feels probably second to none and I've been able to get lathers that I enjoy but are they the top-notch lathers that I have grown to love from some of my artisan soaps or even some of the other famous ones like Tabak. I love Tabak. Tabak is one of my all-time favorites. The lather is just creamy, luxurious, everything you could possibly want. Even though I do get acceptable lathers with the Mitchell's Wolf Fat, I don't get those amazing lathers. So today I actually am doing a couple things that of course people have recommended. One, I got distilled water. So I was at the store, I seen distilled water. It was like a dollar or something. I said, why not? So I got myself a little gallon of that. And I am using a boar brush. I don't really use boar brushes. And this is one of the brushes that was sent to me to get put into the starter kits. I have not yet given this brush away. Because I actually wanted to try it because it just felt soft. I touched the tips and I've been sending a lot of boar brushes. A lot of Samoa's and so on and so forth. But this one, the tips have felt softer than any single boar brush I've ever felt. Including the Samoa Owners Club, Omegas, anything. So I wanted to try it before I, I got rid of it. Just like I did with like that Thater 2 band that... Uh, Buster sent, I had to try that one out. I couldn't let that pass. So, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and try, to try it. So, I loaded it up before I got on camera because I wanted to make sure to give it a nice heavy load. So, I didn't need to waste 30 seconds of time with you guys. Need some more water, apparently. Again, you get these people, like, there's this dude named Rick Boom. After the first time I used Mitchell's Wolf out on a video, he made a video using like six brushes. Making a lather with Mitchell's Wolf out. Probably, I guess, trying to make a point that it's not hard to make, get a good lather with it. But of course, he didn't only do one pass, or not even one pass, he did like one little mark with it. After which point, I guess my video pissed him off. Because he actually blocked me from Facebook after that point. Which I guess, funny enough, I guess my incompetence with the soaps offended him. See, this is a nice lather. But again, it's not voluminous. It's not creamy as a lot of the other soaps. And again, not that I ever said that it was impossible to get a good lather. I've always gotten cool lathers with this stuff. But again, they're just not the type of lathers. Again, this is not a tobacco lather. By no means. Now, I do think this distilled water helps. Because this is actually a bit thicker and creamier than I would probably normally get with this. And those of you guys that see my videos know that I usually get pretty good lathers. I'm not a bum when it comes to lathering soaps. I kind of know what I'm doing. See, Am I centered good? I don't play with this thing all too often, but just once in a while it gets a little distorted. So yeah, I think I'm centered there now. So let's go ahead. So again, I get good lathers, but they're just not the most they're not the, the the most sturdy, like a little bit of water either direction, and it gets kind of ugly. So hoping for the best here. Also another recommendation, somebody said use colder water. So I didn't heat up this distilled water at all. 
So I am going to respect this razor. It is aggressive. It's supposed to be comparable to the R41. The R41 is one of the most damn aggressive razors that are. So let's try it out. That's nice. So I'm gonna spend this about in the next week testing out this H2 uh, razor. And the uh, R. I'll tell you this right now, this is nice. It's the same great craftsmanship that I've seen, of course, obviously from the S2. But I'm able to feel the blade. And generally, I'm actually getting a lot more feedback from this one right now. Which I appreciate. And I don't generally need very aggressive razors um, to take down my hair growth. Again, I always said it. I don't have very thick beard growth. But in order for me to truly enjoy my shave, I need to have the blade feel. For me to be the most comfortable. I need to know what the blade is doing pretty much at all times. And that was pretty spiffy right there. That was a nice first pass. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to add any additional water as of yet to the Mitchell's bull fat. Which I'm going to need some. Like I have to say, this may be the best bore brush I've ever used. Was I saying badger earlier? I always say badger because I'm just you kind know, of more of a badger guy, but wow. Needs a little bit more water. Hopefully it doesn't kill the lather. I'm hoping. And the way bore holds water is different than a badger, so I kinda gotta get accustomed to it, but I'll tell you right now. And I am going to test out the different variables, like I'm probably going to use a badger brush without distilled water again, because I this is a better lather than I usually get. So I am going to test out, again, I'm going to test all the variables. Today I used cold water, uh, distilled water, and a board brush. This brush was sent to me by uh, Uber... Alex Gonzalez on Twitter. I'm trying to remember his Twitter handle. Um... Alex, thank you. Again, this wool. Man, I really like this. Guys, let me know if they still sell these at West Coast Shaving. Or actually, I just might not offer Alex to buy this from him. I know it's supposed to go in the starter kit, but I've actually never really enjoyed using bore. But this is by far the softest bore brush I've ever used. There's absolutely no scritch coming from this right now. So I think I'm probably good. I, again... Or either, or maybe I have one board brush that I don't like. Maybe I'll trade it out. Maybe I don't need my board brush to keep that. I don't know, but I really like that board brush. So I really feel, okay, so of course here's the money pass, the aggressive game pass. I really felt that across my Adam's apple, so. I don't think I cut myself, but it's just a little reminder for me to really respect this. And again, I just really appreciate people letting me use this stuff because I do want to make the investment on the on uh, both the tie razor. Again, they're made beautifully. I know some people aren't a big fan. There was again another little scandal about a week or so ago. Um, this guy that sells vintage, uh, that uses the forms to 
sell vintage uh, razors in. I don't know if he finds in the wild or if he buys on eBay and tries to flip them for more of a profit. I don't really know, but it was a big old book. I guess he said um, that modern production razors have really done nothing to benefit uh, the weight shaving world. Me personally, I think that's absolutely ignorant to say, but you know, teach their own. If that's how he truly feels, Again, him being a vendor of vintage, of vintage uh, shave gear, he's a little bit, uh, you know, biased. But well, whatever. I think a lot of this uh, new production stuff, and its success, is what's starting to bring shaving into the mainstream view. And I think it's going to have a lot to do with a lot of the advancements we see, especially with big companies getting into wet shape. So, but, you know, that's just one man's opinion. So to date, let's see, I've given one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven starter kits to football players. I posted the first four, and then I gave another three on Friday. We're already tired and not in the best of moods. We had a very eventful week last week in football, and we were just ready to go. But I handed out another another three there. So that was seven football players that got starter kits so far. Three of my wife's coworkers got them. And I will once I see them, but of course since we're on summer, I got two coworkers that have actually that actually went up to me, and um, you know, started asking a bunch of questions. So I said, you know what? I'll take care of you guys. Probably gonna try to get a hold of them sooner, cause you know, being school employees, we don't work over the summer, so I understand how tight things are for them right now. Now I'm not gonna lie, this across the green pass for me. It's actually kind of scary on my neck right now. I can feel the blade a lot. So it's a little, uh, make me a little tense. I got to just relax through it. This is probably the most aggressive razor I've used. Not a, a lot, a lot of, I um, can feel the blade big time. For the with the grain and against the grain, I felt totally fine. Just something about that across the green right now that made me feel a tad bit uncomfortable. But yeah, this was nice. I think I need to add a little bit of water. Get a little bit more slippage going on with this lather. Yeah, and definitely I'm noticing that the Mitchell's wool fat is able to take this lather, I think, this water better. That's just my opinion. It's just one man's opinion. Douglas uh, Smythe, I was talking to him a little bit after our wet shavers round table. Uh, and he said that he has no problem lathering it and he's in Arizona with real hard water. But just, I don't know, just... Everybody's, uh, your mileage may vary. And again, that's just my experience with it. When I add extra water like that, when I'm just using a, a badger and my, re my, my regular water, the lather disappears on me. It really dies out. This is an excellent shave. So far, I do like this razor. It is extremely aggressive. The M is the most mild, I guess, of the razors. So I'm going to check it out. I may or may not need the open comb. As of right now, I do like that aggressiveness, but it is no joke. 
So if you do get a little bit arrogant with it, it's gonna bite you. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Let's see. And something with the hard water, I feel that post shave isn't always the best. You do feel like a bit of a like a residue from pretty much every soap. It's just different, so. I want to say that I do feel a difference in post shave. And Metro Wolf Fat's post shave is pretty damn acceptable with the hard water. But I'll tell you right now, this is special. So distilled water, I'd have to say distilled water is going to be a, a big variable for me. This post shave is ridiculous. This post shave right now is usually how I feel after I let it set for a while. After I already put the aftershave and the uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel. So this is a really, really good result. I didn't like the idea of having to use an additional step when, again, wet shaving is already pretty involved. You have a lot of shit you have to do in order to, you know, get you the results you like. But man, this just might be worth it. That's really, really nice. So. We'll see. I'm going to continue to play with that. I don't know if I'll use Mitchell's Wolf Fat every day. It's really hard for me to use the same soap back to back. It's even hard for me to use the same soap once a week. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see what kind of time. I'm at 60 minutes now. There's the weather here in California was absolutely disgusting. It was raining yesterday, there were like thunderstorms. And it was still like 80 something degrees. So it's ugly. We're expecting another day like that today. I'm not used to this kind of stuff. I hear this is how, kind of how it is. I think they said on the news, Ohio's like this. Florida's like this. It's nasty. So well, let's see how the, the boys on the football team react to it today. Because I've never had to be in weather like this. Really ever. So, you know, those of you guys that don't believe in global warming and climate change, this shit should tell you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and match the, the Mitchell's Wolf fat with... Razor Rock Baby Blue. I really thought the Razor Rock Baby Blue was going to be a version of uh, Floyd Blue, but it really smells nothing alike, so. I still like this Floyd Blue, I mean the Baby Blue, but it just tastes, it smells nothing like, like, uh, like Floyd Blue. So I still want Floyd Blue though, because Floyd Blue smells amazing. But hey, thank you guys, I appreciate you. Um, you guys have any questions, you guys have any tips for... Again, using the Bother Tie Razor H2. If you have any tips for Mitchell's Wolf Fat, I'll be more than happy to listen to any suggestions or advice you guys have. I am no expert. I'm just here playing with shit just like you guys do at home. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, visit SoulSharpLimited.com if you guys want to pick up any more shirts. If you guys want to pick up the Santa Lymphumis, uh soap, it's still there. I got a couple more. I think I have a couple more from this order. And then it'll probably be out of stock for a little bit. So uh, thank you guys. I appreciate you. And uh, take care.